हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स द टाइटल ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू इंटरप्रिट फ्रॉम द ग्राफ बाय ऑब्जर्विंग द इफेक्ट ऑफ एसिटल कोलिन ऑन आइसोलेटेड रेक्टस एबडोमिनस मसल ऑफ ए फ्रॉक सो लेट स्टार्ट अवर एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट आर टू नो दैट रेक्टस एबडोमिनस इज अ स्केलेटल मसल टू लोकेट रेक्टस एबडोमिनस on abdominal wall of frog to observe and understand rectus abdominis is responsible for compression of abdominal organs and to flex the vertebral column in lumbar region to understand that acetylcholine is responsible for contraction of rectus abdominis Requirements of the experiment includes animal required is frog physiological salt solution used is frog ringer solution drug is acetylcholine 1 mg per ml and various equipments includes sherington's rotating drum students organ bath aeration tube aerator frontal writing lever stand clamps and plasticine wax Rectus abdominis muscle of frog is a skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle functions to move bones of the skeleton and thereby regulate movements of the body. Skeletal muscle tissues are also known as striated muscle. Skeletal muscle are voluntary type and are controlled by nerve cells of somatic system. Muscle tissues have special properties like excitability contractility extensibility and elasticity the contractile element of skeletal muscle is called myofibril myofibrils are small in structure about 2 micrometer in diameter and extend the entire length of a muscle fiber myofibril contains thin and thick filaments Filaments are arranged in compartments called as sarcomeres. Sarcomeres are functional unit of a myofibril. Myofibril has prominent striation because of filaments and entire muscle looks striated. A physiological contact between somatic nerve cell and skeletal muscle is called neuromuscular junction at this synaptic junction acetylcholine is released from the end plate of somatic nerve cell acetylcholine is a natural neurotransmitter at neuromuscular junction and after its release it interacts with nicotinic receptors of skeletal muscle this interaction is responsible for muscle contraction acetylcholine after interacting with nicotinic receptor induces change in membrane potential and induces influx of sodium ions and calcium ions inside the cell this leads to muscle contraction Now let us look at the isolation technique of the muscle. To study the effect of acetylcholine on frog's rectus abdominis muscle, select healthy frog. Pith the frog with the help of pithing needle. Now pin the limbs of the frog to dissecting tray. Remove the abdominal skin. to expose rectus abdominis muscle to isolate rectus abdominis muscle preparation take side cut on rectus muscle one can prepare two muscle preparation from a single frog now tie a thread to the bottom 
and top of rectus muscle before removing muscle from the body of the frog mount this rectus muscle preparation in upright position in the organ bath containing frog ringer solution under a tension of 1 to 5 gram now relax the tissue or muscle for about 45 minutes during which wash this preparation with fresh quantity of ringer for at least 3 times now this preparation is ready for experimentation now let's have a look at the procedure to study the effect of acetylcholine on rectus abdominis muscle we have already learned the isolation technique of frogs rectus abdominis muscle and the setup of assembly now stabilize the mounted muscle preparation for 45 minutes in frog ringer solution during this period wash the muscle preparation with fresh quantity of frog ringer for at least 4 times start the drum after stabilization take base line for about 30 second on smoked paper now stop the drum and inject 0.1 ml of acetylcholine solution in the reservoir containing mounted muscle preparation start the drum immediately record the contractions for 90 seconds you can see upward movement of writing tip of frontal writing lever on smoked paper stop the drum now relax the contracted muscle by rapidly washing with fresh quantity of frog ringer because of this writing tip of lever slowly reaches towards baseline repeat the procedure by using 0.2 0.3 and 0.4 ml of acetylcholine solution for recording of each response to increasing doses of acetylcholine 30 second baseline 90 second response time and total 5 minutes time cycle is to be followed now measure the height of each response in millimeter height of response is indicative of muscle contraction you can see that with the increasing doses of acetylcholine muscle contraction increases hence we can say that cholinergics increase spasmodic action here is the observation table when we administered acetylcholine in the dose of 0.1 ml the height of contraction is 30 mm here we can see the straight line or base line means when no drug is administered and after administration of drug the graph moves in upward direction like this and it attains the height of 30 mm when we administered the dose 0.2 ml we can observe that the height of contraction is increased and it is now 16 mm similarly when we administered 0.3 ml contraction of the muscle is increased and in the dose of 0.4 ml the height of contraction is 20 mm so it indicates that as we increase the dose of acetylcholine the contraction of skeletal muscle increases 
from this we can conclude that acetylcholine causes contraction of rectus abdominis muscle of a frog you have learnt that acetylcholine shows nicotinic actions at neuromuscular junctions of skeletal muscle the contraction of muscle is achieved by triggering muscle action potential acetylcholine also increases spasmodic action of rectus abdominis